Hello everyone, here's another beer review for today. I wanted to do four beers that um, I tend to drink a bit more than the others. Um, like I do all the craft, I do all the other kind of stuff. And I found that I don't videotape as much as I want to on that kind of uh, beer. So I'm trying to get back into it again start um, bringing out more beers and other beers that I've already tried and this time I kind of want to do a comparison on these four and uh, see which one I like better than the other maybe go from best to worst kind of ordeal and uh, yeah let's, let's go from there but anyways um, these are all five percent beers every single one of them and they're all from Canada. Um, this is the Great Western out from Saskatoon. This is another product they made too. This is their brew house. TC Pilsner. Um, Big Rock makes that. And Moosehead. So, which one to start with first? I'm gonna go with the classic here. Or that bad boy. That brew house. PC Pilsner. And Moosehead. And I've heard this several times before saying that people from the United States do not get the canned version. And they say that Moosehead is always skunky every time that they get it. And it could be because of the bottle. Um, cans, they're protected from the sunlight, all that kind of stuff, so they hold off a lot better. I don't know why you guys don't get cans either, though. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. But, anywho, uh, you can tell by the colors, this one is by far the lightest. And these two are relatively close. So this one seems... A little lighter than the, the classic. The brew house looks a little lighter. And the moose head. Pretty much in comparison with the classic. Okay. From what I know, um, Great Western, they use 100% barley in their products. Um, this PC Pilsner, from how light it looks, it almost looks like a rice beer. How light that is. You know that Bruto seems to have the most head so far. Could be just my pour too. This uh, moose head usually is a big pour, but I mean a big head, not a big pour. Alrighty, so that's that. I'm gonna go from classic first. Nice malty smell to it. But this one, I find it has a little citrus to it. And the other beer is a little. Like um, lemon rind kind of thing to it. This one's really nice. Full flavored, that one. Try this one. It's the brew house. Sweeter, it does smell sweeter this one. Doesn't have as much of the rind smell to it. Cheers. Oh, 
I like this one a bit more though. I like a bit of that rind taste. So we'll start from best to worst so far. So this one first, brew house is second, obviously, because that's the only one that I've tried for those two. Okay, we're gonna go for the PC Pilsner here. Yeah, this one's kind of more dull the smell. Um more of a dull smell to it. It almost smells a bit, a bit metallic too. The other ones do not. And it's lighter, very much lighter in color. Oh. That one, um, you taste this odd little bit of hop taste. Doesn't really taste metallic. Has a weird stringency inside of it though. But it fades so quick, so quick where it just kind of forget what you even drank there. Uh, this one, it's actually not a bad beer. It's a nice one to, you know, if you want to have a quick few drinks, not to not play around, get straight to the point kind of thing. Well, this is what this one would be. Uh, an easy drinker, just quick, simple. You know, maybe if you're really hot, you want something that's not water. Well, this is it. Kind of the description they say of uh, American beers watered down. Well, this is kind of, that description. I don't know. There's not too much going on. Maybe from what my palate's used to, I'm used to more higher end beers. So the way that this is going, it's kind of funny. It's it's already setting itself up. So this is first, that's second, this is third. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the moose head now. Oh yeah, way better. Bolder smell. I sure smell the hops on this moose head. Got that nice beer smell to it. Mm, just very, very nice. Yeah, that's flavorful and that's really good. Although it doesn't have the same kick as this one though, the classic. This one has a little more flavor than this one. But this one has its own unique taste too, so I really like it. I think you know it's this one's not much far off from this one. Like they're very, very, very close. Very close. That one I didn't pour as much, I know. It seems like I like that one the best because I drank it quicker, but I had the least amount of beer. Alright, I'm gonna go with The list right here. Show the beers. Classic wins. Who says right behind it? Brewhead is coming close, and PC Pilton is a little behind. Anyway, uh, yeah. Hope you guys liked the video, and um, hopefully you guys get to try out some Canadian beers. I'm hoping so. Anyways, take care, guys.